It's time for Son Goku! Hey guys, me your host, Super Sorrow. Thank you very much, Jiren. And look what I got! It's Son Goku. This is Son Goku, the event exclusive color edition that had hit San Diego Comic Con and GamesCon in Germany recently. And I want to say a big thank you to Hio for sending this through to us. That's Hio.com. Thank you very much, Hio, for sending it through to us. I really appreciate it. And I really appreciate uh, you sending this through free of charge for me to review today. It is such a cool figure, guys. You can't beat SH Figure Arts, they're just so good. And this is a really cool one to have, the event exclusive. It's going to be quite hard to find here in the UK. Uh, but if you are a distributor, you can always check out um, heo.com and uh, pick some up there. But guys, like I said, let's go take a look at the box before I break this guy out of the packaging. So let's go ahead and check out the desk cam. So guys, as you can see, this is one of the Tamashi Nation's Bandai products. And it's an event exclusive color edition of the Sun Goku SH Figure Arts figure. Um, like I said, it is an event exclusive colour. I'm loving this purple artwork on the box with the holographic logo there. If we turn it aside, you get a nice product shot here as well, which is pretty nice, again with the uh, name of the figure on top and bottom. And if we turn into the back as well, you get some really nice product shots and a nice write-up about the figure. Um, SH Figure Arts is a standard figure series line that uses art style of Tamashii Nation's action figures to successfully pursue character expressions through a humanoid action. And you can get some really cool faces on this one too. Uh, it's such a cool figure and I can't wait to review it. So thank you again to the people at Heo for sending this through to us. This is an awesome figure. Like I said, it was an event exclusive, I think, for San Diego Comic Con and for uh, Gamescom, which just uh, was in Germany recently. So let's go ahead and break this one out of the packaging. All right, guys, let's break him out. Need to just break him out of the seal here, so let's be very gentle here. There we go. He is free. Okay. These figures are just such quality. Okay, so here he is in the pack. When we first open him. Very nice. They're very, they've got some very different expressions, some different accessories. The Dragon Ball there as well. Wow. So this is the era of Dragon Ball Z that I watched when uh, Goku was small, like young like this. This is the era that I watched on Cartoon Network as a kid. Came out not long uh, after the time of like Pokemon. It was around that time. So I remember Dragon Ball Z and Pokemon were kind of the in thing when I was coming up. Oh my god, look how cool that is. That is so awesome. Love him so much. Very detailed figure. That's the male. <laughs> the figure itself is very detailed. Lots of articulated points as well, which is awesome. The head is on a ball joint, so you can make him look down and up. His arms do lift up at that top hinge, do rotate at the bicep as well as the top hinge, and also at the, el the elbow as well. Hands are on a ball joint. You've got a butterfly hinge there as well, so you can move his arms in and out. There's also a crunch and a waist swivel. Legs lift out all the way, as well as forwards and backwards, with a single hinge knee there that also rotates, and the feet as well are on rocker and pivot, and there's even toe articulation. So you can get this guy in multiple martial arts style positions and he's going to be balanced perfectly at all times because of the articulated points are just so good on these. You're going to be able to get some really cool poses. So let me just stand him up here on the desk here. That was a foot. There we go. Okie dokie. The headpiece is a little bit, he is top heavy obviously with his hair, so it does take a little bit of practice to get him to stand. Other than that, um, in here he also comes with two alternate faces. We do get the sort of classic anime smiling face, as well as a mouth open face. I wish, I wish one of these things that would create and give us a, um, 
the um, put like a, a an eating face, like he's got noodles in his mouth. Because like I love the fact that on like the meme on the internet obviously was the one of him eating and stuff. So that'd be cool to be able to recreate that. Um, this obviously fits in the back of him as well. So we can put the little tailpiece on as well. He's got a little hole there in the back, and we just pop that in like so. It just parts in. That's pretty cool. And you get two of those tails. You get one that's curled and one that's straight. Uh, we get multiple hand accessories. I'm not going to be able to show them all off. Um, I'll, tell you what, I'll show those on the desk. can be a little bit easier. We've got multiple hands, including the ones that we got with the last couple of figures that, that we reviewed, including the sort of peace symbols, uh, open palm hands, fisted hands, grab hands. Um, as well as there's one that's like that as well with two fingers down uh, so we get multiple different hands and as well he does come with his dragon ball which is really cool it does have the little star design on there as well I'm not sure if the desk hands will be able to pick that yeah it's got the little stars on so that's pretty cool and he does come with his bow staff as well can I get that out without knocking everything else? I think I can. There we go. Do these fit together now? No, of course they don't. So we get this one. And of course we get the big bow staff as well. I think it's a bow staff. Being a martial arts thing like Dragon Ball Z is, I would have thought that is a bow staff. <clears throat> so yeah, so multiple accessories there for you to use with this character, which is really cool. And again, the multiple faces are really nice as well on this one. So they've done a really good job at bringing this figure to life, in my opinion. Uh, but let me go to the desk cam and give you guys an up-close personal look at Son Goku. Uh, I'll get him nicely posed up and we'll take a look at the desk cam. So, I'm going to transfer you over. Let's go to the desk cam. Alright guys, here he is out of the packaging. Looking awesome. Loving this figure and the way it looks. Such a nice figure. You're so good. They really, really spent a lot of effort bringing this figure to life, in my opinion. He's just super cool. Oh, no, I've moved him. I've moved him. He's going to fall. <laughs> um, so I've got him in a bit of a stance there. Like I said, he's very top-heavy. The hair piece does weigh him down a little bit. But I do like the that you can actually get him to stand. Uh, you just have to open the legs a little bit more into a wider stance. I've noticed the ones on the back of the box are pretty much all wide stances as well. So I'm not the only one that's found that issue. Obviously, I see figure arts when they were posing him, as you can see. It's got very much open leg stances like so, so I think that's the best way to balance him. You could use the tail pieces as well to give him a bit more balance. It would balance out the back a little bit more, so that's something you could do. But again, SH Figure Arts, this is a brilliant figure from Tamashii Nations. It's so good. Bandai have done a great job of bringing this Dragon Ball Z piece to life, and I really like it. Again, this was the era of Dragon Ball that I watched. That first couple of that like first series or so, such a cool figure. What do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments. So, guys, we've changed up the pose a little bit, and I put the Dragon Ball in his hand, just so you can see that. And that's, that is so cool. It looks really cool. That's how I probably display him. Is having him with the with the open palm hand holding the Dragon Ball. I'd be I'd be scared that he's gonna lose it, or I'm gonna like bang a shelf and it's gonna go flying. Would we'll lose a little ball forever. So, no sure. I might want to put a little, little I, know, I know this is sacrilege to say, but I might want to put a little dab of super glue there to keep that in uh, in his hand. Otherwise, I'd be, I'd be scared that something would knock the shelf and everything would go flying. And I'd never see the ball again. But what are your thoughts, guys? Do you like this stance with the Dragon Ball? Do you think that's really cool for the Dio? I think that looks sick. But what are your thoughts, guys? Let me know in the comments below your thoughts. And uh, is this a figure you're going to pick up for your collection? If so, let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Let, let's go to the main cam and finish off today's video. So, guys, what are your thoughts on Son Goku? Let me know in the comments down below. Like I said, is this a figure you're going to pick it up for your collection? I'd love to find out. Again, this particular variant is a variant that, that was released for the Dragon Ball Z tour, or the Dragon Ball Super Tour, I think, I think they call it, where they go around all the conventions. Uh, they've been to San Diego Comic Con, and I believe GamesCon in Germany was where these were actually released. So, they are event exclusives, 
and they are perfect. I've reviewed all three now. I've reviewed the Rose version uh, of Go of um, Goen, and I've reviewed the Goku as well. Sorry, the sorry the the Super Saiyan version of Gohan, and then the Bl uh, Goku Black Rose variant. <laughs> Got that in the end. But yeah, these figures are awesome. This one's my is actually my favorite. And it was the last one that I was doing because I wasn't very fond of it, you know, when I first saw it. But now I've reviewed it, I actually really like this guy. He's really awesome and it's very easy to pose. Like, he just looks so cool no matter what pose you put him in. You can get him in some really cool poses. But what are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you smash subscribe. It would really support us. Psh, really help us out and help us keep making awesome videos. And if you enjoyed this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. May the force be with you. Bye.